Hey Donna fans, you're tuned in to the AfterBuzz TV After Show for Ray Donovan Season 4, Episode 12, Radis Radis. Join us as we break down the episode and give you our thoughts and predictions. Let's go! You're tuning in to the destination for TV superfan discussion, AfterBuzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin! I just don't understand it. Oh, this is a remix. <laughs> we'll take it, I'm whatever version it. it is. Let's go, everybody. Welcome on in to the After Buzz TV After Show for Ray Donovan, the season finale of season four. I am your lead host, Frank Majorana. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Let's Go Frank M. I'm joined by the full panel to close out the season. It's McCall Hall. What's going on, everybody? It's too good, and it's your girl, so McCall Hall. Find me on social media when sports and pop culture collide. And sporting the bun tonight, it's Olivia Gabriel. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the season finale. Yeah, wow, what an episode we had. Oh, I sorry, know. where can well, they find you on social media? You're interrupting my... You guys you can find moment. me at the real underscore O underscore G. And you know that they need to hear that because we know we that there are some that. thirsty folks on social media for <laughs> OG. Any single men out there, she's taking private messages. Uh, give it your best pickup line. Uh, slide that in you the DM. You guys crack me up. Slide in the DM. Yeah, so anyway. And don't play. People slide in your DM too. I watch you guys' phones all the time. <laughs> it happens. But we're happy to bear that burden. Anyway, let's get into the episode, guys. We had a uh, exciting season finale here. Um, but we like to start off our show with our social media shout outs. These are our listener comments They're commenting directly on our YouTube or online using the hashtag ABTV Ray Donovan. Olivia, every week I task you with the YouTube comments. So what do you see out there that was constructive this so week? So we have quite a few, but I think I'll just pick out the best, you know. Mm -hmm. um, okay. From Give Me Shelter, she says, great predictions, gang. Thank you. I agree, too. Maybe Abby and the kids go away so Ray can come back as Bruce Willis and Die Hard or Liam Neeson and Take It. <laughs> That's funny. Um, okay, so Dontavius Jackson gave us another prediction as well. He said, Abby will die at the hands of Dimitri, by the way. It wasn't clear in my previous comment. The cancer plot was only used to wrap her storyline up nicely with Ray. Okay. Also an interesting prediction and TDCR gave us quite a few. He said, Ray should have killed the Russian woman, like Abby said. Hector's storyline has to end the season, so I think he'll definitely go to jail. And I'm surprised that Abby was still alive. Hmm. Well, thank you for the feedback. Wow, yeah, great predictions out there, guys. Mm -hmm. We had some wild predictions we at the did. end of last <laughs> week, and, and none of them came to and pass in this episode. Hell. I know. Um, what do you think about this episode? Just your first thought that comes to mind, McCall. I just kept waiting on the other shoe to drop. Like, I, I just kept waiting for that big, shocking moment that was going to make me cover my eyes and my mouth and scream. It didn't really happen. Yeah. Olivia? I know. I just felt like it was a little too perfect. It was, like, wrapped in a bow at the end. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, last year's season finale, when Ray is shot and he's in the confessional, was just sort of this clinic in acting by Liev Schreiber. And you're right. It's like, uh, you know... Ray just decides, all right, I'm going to kill them all. And that's just the solution. And, I, you know, my question is, going into next season, can you ever truly eliminate everybody? Can you completely take out a Russian mob? Or is there somebody who's above Dimitri now who's going to come back next season? Uh, it just felt all too easy. I mean, Daryl and, you know, and Avi roll up to the car, and there's only two guys there. And then when Dimitri walks out, you know, they quickly, you know, kidnap him. Dimitri wasn't very smart this episode, and I had taken him as a smart character before. I was just shocked that he didn't have more of an entourage. Yeah. With somebody with that kind of money, they typically have a lot of people with them, so that takedown shocked me because I thought he would have more people with him, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah, I, I think the flip side of that, just being the devil's advocate, I would say that because so far they had had a good relationship and they had a business arrangement and it was all supposed to go according to plan, maybe Dimitri relaxed a little bit and that ended up costing him his life. Mm -hmm. you feel differently, Olivia? No, I think he was definitely slacking on this episode. Yeah. He, I think he was just not careful enough and he had it coming for him. And obviously Ray always has something up his sleeve. 
Yeah. So it was predictable. Yeah, and the other side of this too is that I, I didn't quite feel the relief with Dimitri being killed. Uh, he's mm -hmm. clearly a bad guy. He killed Sonia, who you know even at the very end I I felt for even though she gave up Ray. Mm -hmm. Ray quickly forgave her, and I think we as an audience did too. Uh, she just seems to be at the end in, in that moment when she turns back to Ray when Dimitri says, "See Mr. Donovan out." You could just see it on her face. She hey, knows what's coming. Could. She knew. I saw a little lip quiver with her. Yeah. When he was walking out. Yeah, and her eyes were just telling the whole story there. And just a very powerful moment from Ambeth Davids um, just saying, you know, this is it. Mm -hmm. like, I've got nowhere else to go. And she can't run. I mean, there's nowhere else for her to, to flee to. Yeah. Um, so that sort of moment stood out for me in this episode is really having a good emotional weight to it. Um, we get to see the cop. We got to see Cop and Terry. You know, she finally gets into <laughs> her um, her dress that um, you know he asked her to dress up in. I felt really good for Terry in this episode. What do you guys think? There was such a moment when Terry told uh, Ray that he would squirt something in Hector's eyes. Like he was upset that you know, knowing that this fight could be thrown and his whole legacy could be tarnished. But then he had a moment where he remembered the importance of his family. Yeah. And it's like, Terry always has to be selfless. Yeah. Always. I was proud of him, but at the same time, I was like, damn. Yeah, he, he never gets to just, you know, be in his feelings. Yeah, even with his knowledge now that Hector killed his mm -hmm. sister, he's still overcome with emotion and positivity about his family, his dirty freaking family that, yeah. you know, he calls his brother to clean up a murder situation. Um, you know, it's, it's just a lot of different things going on, you know, at the same time here um, at, that, at that after party. But I was especially frustrated that there's no repercussions coming for Hector. Uh, you know, he, he gets away with it. He doesn't have anything else that's coming his way because... You know, Ray cleaned it up. He got to win the fight, and mm -hmm. he's you know he's not confessing to the murder, which is what Ray thought he was going to do, um, and that's that. And Hector motors off into the distance, and that's all that we heard from him. Well, do you, so he he wasn't aware that they had this whole entire plan set up. Like, was he? Did you do you think that in his head he still thought that they were depending on him to throw the fight? No, um, when Ray walked walked up and yeah. said, "Win it." Oh, you know, remember, oh, he did. Remember, yeah. he he told him it was okay to win the fight. Oh, where was I when that happened? Good question. Don't hate on me, everybody. I just must have <laughs> Here went come the bathroom the or something. Yep. <laughs> they love to light us up. <laughs> See, that's what I was thinking of the whole time because I was like, oh, he really, he really is gonna go through with this and you know, go go above Ray and just do what he wants to do anyway. But uh -uh. no, Ray gives him the okay, and there was a part of me that was like. Why are you doing that? Just mm -hmm. let Hector take the fall and then have all this be done. But what clued me into the fact that Ray was not going to go along with it was um, when Dimitri is sitting next to him ringside and he says, you know, hope you feel like celebrating after we're going to go to Malibu for seafood. Oh, yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's your invitation. I was like, Ray can't go to Malibu. <laughs> like, he ain't going to leave Malibu. He's not yeah. going to leave Malibu alive. No, exactly right. And so from that point on, then I was like, okay, good. I'm glad he had something else planned mm -hmm. and that he's going to kill them all. You would think $60 million would make somebody happy enough to leave you no, and your family not. alone. But it's a loose ends kind of thing, I think. I just wish, I wish they would have robbed Dimitri, got the tickets back, Hector still taking the fall, then killed Dimitri anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. The ultimate ending. That would have been the ultimate, because then they would have been rich. Yeah. We were predicting a lot of ultimate endings last I week. I know. And uh, the way it turned out, you know, Dimitri was killed by Avi. Good for Avi. I'm glad that he got it back out um, and, and got his revenge. Uh, that was great to see him do that. And then um, it the way that... The team worked it out. The Donovan clan worked it out. Is it's it looks like a drug deal gone bad, mm -hmm. right? That's why they went to the the um, the art gallery and ripped all yeah. the paintings off. And in fact, you could see all the drugs, you know, ripped out and passed onto the floor. Um, so it seems like a really smart way to yeah. have gotten away with yeah, everything. Yeah, you know, for once, Mickey's. Mickey's little schemish ways worked out in their favor because you know he's looking to just kind of make a quick buck and then he comes across yeah. this whole entire 
you know, thing that saves the day and saves his family. And totally by accident, by the yes. way. Yes. Now, now, you guys tell me this. When Mickey went to, to sell that piece of artwork and the guy discovered all these drugs, now, all those drugs were worth way more than 60 grand. No kidding. You right. know what I mean? Yeah. I thought in that very moment that that man was going to kill Mickey. Oh, what? Wow. Well, I was kind of thinking it too because I it, was like the cut scene right away. And I said he's a goner. Ooh. Well, even so, if you think I was thinking right from the beginning, Mickey's going into this warehouse with a very expensive, like expensive painting by himself. You don't know who this man has hidden, hidden in the crevices of the building. You know, right? It, he it could have been over for him. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like I, I really thought Mickey was gonna be a goner. He's always put himself in dangerous situations and yet always seems to be able to get out. But he, because he doesn't care. Yeah. Like, he's in these dangerous situations <laughs> and he doesn't even realize. He's just like, what's under there? Like, you know what I mean? He didn't care. No, he did. And, uh, but he realized there was something really valuable there. Mm -hmm. And the art dealer totally played it wrong. He should have just put it back down, flipped it over, looked at, you know, the front what again, and been like, all right, I'll go to 25, you know, something like that. <laughs> yeah. but instead, he immediately racked it and went, I'll give you 50. Like, I'll give you 50. <laughs> like, you will. Oh, okay. Great. Obviously, um, he's not a good poker player. <laughs> no, yeah. not, a, not a poker player there. That deal did not go down in Vegas. Um, so let's um, talk about Abby because, you know, all season long I had been railing against this stage zero diagnosis, and it turns out she's all better. Yeah. You knew it the whole time. Yep. You knew it. I'm happy. I'm very happy that, you know, she's not going to have to deal with this illness. But I was a little... F okay. The scene where Ray is, you know, dreaming about Abby's funeral, that kind of freaked me out with the, the hand on the crotch. That was so weird. What do you think the meaning to that was? Well, it was the dream sequence to start the episode, and I think it's just, you know what could possibly play out and and you know dreams aren't supposed to make total sense but i think with abby's health diagnosis and sonia and him have having had sex during that episode and them all being in the church i mean father romero was talking about some app yeah i know so, i thought it was talking about like ways or something i was like is this an yeah. advertisement yeah so <laughs> it was so weird <laughs> and it was really weird it was really weird um i'm just happy that abby's okay mm -hmm. yeah but i think if you're going to invest so many episodes and so much of your season into her having this disease. I think kind of what you said earlier, Olivia, resonates with me. It's just too cute. Like, mm -hmm. oh, all of a sudden it's gone. Fresh new start. Oh, great. Yeah. I thought that was super weird because typically everything that happens in the show, you like, really has a purpose, you know? And yeah. I thought this cancer storyline was co going to come into, like, play a larger factor in the whole, mm -hmm. in the entire story, but now it's just disappearing. It's, I don't know. Yeah, it's but like, I mean, here's what we'll give you to do for a season. Yeah, just to keep us over. busy a little. Yeah. I feel like it's going to trickle into next season. Yeah, It's going to sure. magically come back. Okay. Well, let's hope it's stage two next time. So oh, my I'll God. Buy God it. It's unbelievable. <laughs> we need a damn lump. Uh, <laughs> look, before we move into the next topic, I want to remind everybody, please subscribe to us on uh, iTunes and YouTube. Uh, we'll be back next season, but uh, your su subscription would be good next year, so you would get our updates straight at the start. And also, there is now the AfterBuzz TV um, Android app, which you can download from the Google Play Store, so be sure to download that to check on all your favorite after shows for your TV shows. We cover everything here. Um, and, you know... I want you guys to think back about this whole season. And what, if I say, okay, Ray Donovan season four, what moment, what scene stands out to you, to you the most? What are you going to remember going into next year um, as something that really, really struck you? I'll, I'll give you mine just while you guys are thinking of that. Um, I thought, for me, the, the defining moment of the season was when Sylvie gets shot, when, um, you know, uh, Mickey and and Bunchy are at Little Bill Prim's house and trying mm -hmm. to rob the safe. I think for me that moment when she gets shot and you can turn around and just see Mickey's whole plan and his world destroyed mm -hmm. really propelled the show forward toward the end of the season. And I thought for me Mickey's character was the most interesting to watch this season because he turned toward a little bit caring a lot more about his family 
and the schemes and the plans that he executed going to Vegas to, you know, place bets for Ray and willing to take to turn himself in for the Manassian murder, you know, down at the police station. I thought his character really grew this season, and I really enjoyed watching that. Uh, what what's your take on that on uh, this season for McCall? Well, piggybacking off of yours, the the theme of family, right? Yeah. Um, remember when Ray was really drunk and then his daughter was playing the guitar and singing? You stole my moment! I'm sorry! <laughs> <laughs> so, we're heck? women, we think the same! <laughs> but you know, when a man gets emotional, yeah. that just, I mean, first of all, Ray has been drinking a lot this season. Honey, right. he's gonna end up in AA next year. <laughs> But that moment for me, it's like when a man is just brought to that that quivering in his voice, and like on the brink of tears, and then you got his dad, you know, being emotional. That's what that's what told me they're gonna go out together, no matter what. They're gonna stick together. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, well, since I need to find a new moment. My second moment will probably be when um, Connor and Ray were dancing together. Oh, yeah. Wait, was that this season? Mm -hmm. Yes, that was this season. When they were playing Do you know, yeah, when Ray was yeah. also another time when he was a little tipsy and he came home and they were dancing in the kitchen together. I feel like that was a very large family moment as well. Yeah, I like that scene, too. I'll, I'll give you another one that I really liked, and even though I didn't quite buy into the whole Abby cancer story. I thought the scene in the grocery store between oh, Ray yeah. and Abby was fantastic. That's and, also a good one. You know, one of my favorite developments of this season has been that Ray is allowing people to know the details of his business. Mm -hmm. And um, chief among them being Abby and telling her the details of what's going on and not hiding anything from her. Having the conversation with Sonia right in front of her and, and you know, in this episode, he's telling her exactly what's going on with the Russians and, and the fight. Um, I really enjoyed that development. And, you know, I, I'd like to see them become more partners in crime. Mm -hmm. yeah. And at the end of the episode, um, I was reminding of this as you were watching it and I watched it last night. Um, you know, there's a real spark between them now. I mean, they make out right on the sidewalk right there. <laughs> there might be and, another and then they go bit. in. And <laughs> oh, my goodness. I think it's a little too late for that. But, um, but yeah, I mean, there's uh, sort of been a rekindling of passion, despite the fact that Ray hooked up with Sonia this season. Right. So I enjoyed that one a lot. And it's it's not even just him including Abby now. It's, you know, that moment when he had his whole entire family in the room and he was like, this is what's going on, this is what we're going to do. I think that was a very large breakthrough as well because for once he's inclu including everybody in the plan, mm -hmm. he's letting everybody know, you know, the situation that he's in and what's going on, mm -hmm. and that's a really that's a really different dynamic than it had been in the past. Yeah, and he let them know, like, I'm depending on you, like, mm -hmm. I need you. Yeah, uh, and I like that, you know, he gets everybody in the room together and, uh, and puts it to him straight and says, you can walk out of here if you don't, if you don't want to be a part of it, and I wouldn't blame you, and everybody stays. And it's just, you know, family, like you were saying, McCall, is the, the dominant theme of this show. You know, to be a Donovan is, is great, as yeah. Terry said. Um, so, you know, they all stick together, and I think that's what's admirable about the show and why we keep coming back to watch. Mm -hmm. um, though it seemed at the beginning of the episode that Frank um, Barnes with the FBI really had Ray by the balls. I, I thought Ray was in big trouble. He was going to have to wear that shirt with the uh, camera sewn into that. I thought that was kind of cool, actually, that I they know. could get a little camera in the shirt. That's a theme. On another show, they have a little button camera. On Power last night, they had a, a button on the shirt that was a wire tap and all that. Oh, really? Ooh. It's getting intense, the way they can yeah. track it. I don't trust you right now. You got on three buttons. I already have it. Well, because in every other show, it's just like, rip off your shirt. Let me see if you yeah, wear let me wire. See the wire. But yeah. now you rip it off and... Yeah, there's nothing You probably there. got a wire in that button. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> on point with the sound effects. Yeah, we're uh, we're killing it right now. But um, <laughs> but here's the thing, though. I don't see how Ray's business gets you know is able to move forward now because even though Frank said you know I'll leave you alone if I get um, Dmitry Sokolov, you know his entire business has been raided. All his files were taken. I mean they know ev you know the FBI knows everything now. So mm -hmm. Barnes is always going to have this over Ray's head. Mm -hmm going forward so um, you know what do you guys think about what how Ray can build his business back up or what the future holds for him 
What's the guy, the Hollywood dude, the one that got caught up in child porn? Oh, the agent? Yeah. Oh, um, the producer. I, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, you I know. can't remember his name right now. Something's going to happen with him again. It's Hollywood. Yeah. He'll get caught up in a scandal. Well, um, But is Ray not going into witness protection? No. He doesn't have to now. No. Well, you see, no. That's too easy. I think... What I'll save it for predictions, but no, go ahead. Nothing. I want to hear it. How are you gonna s- attack the Russian mob yeah. and then go back to your home and just live your life like nothing even happened? Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking the same thing. I just don't understand. I mean, yes, they killed a lot of that that group, mm-hmm. but it's gonna get back. Hell, it will get back to Russia. I mean, somebody knows about these guys. Somebody feels accountable for them. They're gonna come after Ray. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I, I agree with you that I don't think the Russians are done with Ray just yet. And like I said, they keep springing up. There there will be more people uh, to come hunting him down, and they're just not quite safe yet. Mm-hmm. And um, it's, I don't know, I think there's just this moment at this after party with, you know, Hector's win that just seems like, you know, 24 hours of a good time, and then they're going to be right back in the same position mm-hmm. next season. I'm telling you, this finale was like, okay, I guarantee you the premiere is going to blow your socks off. <laughs> and it may, uh, it may very well do so. <laughs> um, I bet. Because it's, it's a great show, and, you know, we had some great guest stars this season, Lisa Bonet. Uh, played the most hated character of yours, Marisol, she who's damn no man. longer <laughs> no longer with us. Um, Connor gave us good reasons to hate him, and uh, what? Where was Connor during the party? Who Did cares? you see Connor? Who he cares? was dancing. He was. He was dancing with um because I was laughing at um. Damon's dance moves because he was like dabbing and stuff to old school music and then Connor is dancing right next to him like a fool. I was like, oh, these two. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I didn't see him towards the end. I guess I missed that. Yeah. Well, I hope between this season and next season, Connor like plays with a gun and shoots himself or something accidentally and then we never see him again. Oh my God. <laughs> Damn. Your face fit those effects so easy. That's hilarious. Unfortunate. That's a dick. I have, I have no problem saying that whatsoever. Um, Connor, kill yourself. <laughs> That's horrible. It's so horrible. You too tonight. I don't I know. know. I know. It's so bad. So Okay, give me your least favorite thing about this season. Um, obviously, mine is Connor, and I've talked about that, you know, for for very, you know, for various reasons. You know, what can you do without going into next season? What didn't quite catch your your fancy, and um, you know, what would you have trimmed from this season? I don't know if I would have trimmed it, but I'm just trying to figure out why Daryl's issues never get resolved. Yeah, oh, yeah. he gets mad, then he has to suck it up. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like they never like dig into creating a remedy for Daryl's emotions. Yeah. That's my only thing. I agree with you. And, you know, we got to stick up for our boy here. Uh, Pooch Hall is, you know, friend of the podcast. and um, <laughs> They just let his ass cry, and then, but, like, you know, two hours later, he'll be over it. But you're right. We thought that there was more meaning in that scene that they had last week, and um, it just didn't come to pass. Daryl's just back on the team. But that's where he wants to be, though, right? I mean, he wants to be a part of the Donovans and be, you know, truly part of the crew. And I think, honestly, when he's sitting in that room with the Donovans and Ray's asking him all to do something, I think that's his dream come true. Yeah, but you see, it's always he gets it, but not really. So he yeah. he gets to participate in the whole entire plan. But when it comes to killing Dimitri, he's like, you ha- you can't watch. And it's well, like, what do you mean? Well, I think that was Avi protecting. It was protecting him but you know he wanted to be in there like like swimwear he wanted to have the whole entire experience and he still couldn't you know wrap it all up oh i'm sorry i have to just ask you guys something real quick when poop or when daryl turned and avi was getting ready to shoot dimitri yeah part of me thought that the other door was going to open the way they had the camera set up, yeah. I thought Dimitri was gonna punch Avi, take the gun, and shoot him. Oh my and then you goodness. see Dimitri. I kept, I kept saying, "There's no way Dimitri's gonna shoot him." Di- or excuse me, there's no way Avi's gonna shoot Dimitri. Yeah. I thought he was gonna turn around and beat him up and shoot him. Yeah. 
just the way they had the camera set up on the car because you knew like if the if that door doesn't open it's yeah. kind of like uh, on on uh, this episode of Four Weddings you know if the husband gets out of the limo then the, the wife wins right I'm thinking like oh that door is not going to open oh no <laughs> I kept thinking that sorry no that's great I I didn't think of that but I'm sure it was staged that way for it that reason it was staged mm-hmm. like yeah. if that door doesn't open the Donovans are fucked yeah and you know <laughs> oh, excuse my <laughs> Uh, they're screwed. We're gonna have to uh, we'll go back and bleep that. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you would have had, um, <laughs> you would have had, yeah, a serious trouble for the Donovans. And um, I'd like that you saw that because obviously it was a way that the shot was directed to leave that little bit of suspense for us as viewers to to catch that. And mm-hmm. I quite hadn't seen that, so that's a really good catch on your part. I like that a lot. Um, you know, I'd love to see, can't wait to see John Voight next season and see what's in store for him and uh, Leah Schreiber with, with new things to do. I hope we get to see more of Hank Azaria as Ed Cochran, who's, mm-hmm. you know, just love to hate him. And he won an Emmy uh, for his role on Ray Donovan, but he did not Tim win. Uh, he, did, <laughs> he did not, uh, we did not have any other Emmy wins um, this uh, yesterday for Ray Donovan. Wow. But, uh, but we still really love the show a lot. So, look, with all that said, it's the last episode, the last segment, so it's time to get into our Season 5 predictions uh, for what's to come next year. And now, your After Buzz TV predictions. Ray Donovan's normally a summer show, so we can expect it back in the summer of 2017. Olivia, I know you're holding out on a prediction. What is it now? Wait, what? No, I, well, I already said what I was going to say. I don't really, I mean, I am predicting that the whole entire Russian storyline is going to come back to bite them. Okay. However, if I, it's not that I would change this season, but I do hope the next season gets into something past the Russians. I enjoyed, like, the whole Hollywood, Mm -hmm. like, dynamic of it and I thought I don't know I enjoyed it and the mob stuff don't get me wrong it was like it ha- it was suspenseful and it had me wanting more all the time but I think that I'm kind of over it and I want to move towards something new okay we'll call you know, I, I could I could see that because we live in LA so we mm-hmm. want to see something we can kind of relate to yeah like a scandal that we have seen in our own lives with our own eyes like I don't know any mobsters yeah um and predictions you know this episode left me without predictions Wow. Okay, I'll give you one, and I'm sure you guys will react to it. I think we have seen the end of Bridget on this show. Oh, yeah, she's off to NYU. She's off to NYU. Oh, yeah, that's a good prediction. And board of the plane, and I think that's it for Kara Storcy. I think she's she did a great job on this show, and, you know, it has been in a ton of movies, and I think her career is about to take off in a big way, and, mm-hmm. you know, if it hasn't already, of course. Um so I think we've seen the end of Bridget, and maybe Connor too. Uh, maybe we, you know, maybe Connor's off to school, off to some boarding school next season, and the kids are not going to be as much of a story uh, mm-hmm. going forward. And good for Bridget for getting in NYU, and you know whatever that teacher storyline was last year. Yeah. Glad that's all gone. Mm-hmm. Um, it seems like the girl's in a good place uh, going forward. So. And and like Abby said, you know she goes. I'm going to try to do my Boston accent. Let's hear it. Ray, we get a fresh start. <laughs> no, it's it would be like, start. start. We get a fresh Say start. It. Say it. Like Abby. <laughs> Ray, we get a fresh start. <laughs> you know, like That's the empty though. nesters now. Like, I, I could see that. Like, you know, her health is good. The kids are away. You know, let's find somebody else to shoot. We get, with a fresh right. start. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> so good. It was good, my call. Come was on. She's one. from Boston. She's, she's from, I, tr- I trust no, she's her ex there. Medford. She's not from she's Boston. From, you guys. Yeah. You know. You guys. <laughs> you guys crack me up. <laughs> uh, we want to thank all the guests who came in um, all season long. Dominique Columbus and uh, Pooch Hall for coming in and stopping by for our show. I think, oh, let's talk quickly about Damon. I think Damon is going to be a bigger part next season. I think Dominique, uh, you know, uh, Terry gives him a key and says, this is going to be, you know, a place where you can live and has a, has kind of a nice moment with Terry where he goes, you know, no one's ever done this for me before. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. I liked it too. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to Dominique, Dominic Columbus, you know, getting those checks. 
Yeah. He, can, he can buy the fancy new car now because I think he'll be around <laughs> for a while. Yeah, I think he'll be back for, for season five for sure. Yeah. What did you think of uh, of Damon this yeah, episode? Yeah, I mean, I think they set it up nicely for next season. He gave Terry a hug. You know, he appreciated mm-hmm. it all. And Terry said, you know, if... If he wins this fight, that you're like you're up next. I'm mm-hmm. training you next. So he won the fight. Yeah, he won the fight, and it seems like Damon is next. His new project, and so we're wishing him the best, and hopefully he'll come back in next season. What about the cop? Does Terry yeah. and the cop do they get married? <laughs> well, Terry said he was house shopping. That's what I'm saying. So now he's got a house. He's got a girl. I wonder how he's old the, the cop moolah. is. Like, think about it. Like, the cop is what? Maybe 40? You think she's she 40? looks a bit aged. <laughs> I think she looks amazing. <laughs> no, no, she looks like, I mean, she doesn't look like she's 20. She lo- I didn't mean to, like, insult someone, but she's definitely, like, 40 <laughs> wow. or something. She's not as fly as OG now. <laughs> Obviously. Um, I mean, she's not 22. <laughs> but my point was, is she is she of childbearing years? Because there could be another Donovan. Oh, okay. Through the, the, the womb I think of those two cop. are a little too old. Yeah, I think it was the whole new <laughs> Donovan baby is kind of covered by Bunchy and Teresa with little Maria. I think that Maria Donovan Maybe is Maybe when of... they come back, Maria will be able to, like, walk and talk. Yeah. Mind blown. She's wow. not a baby anymore. No, she'll, oh ha- she'll be gosh. a real character. Oh my you guys. Goodness. That's an amazing prediction. Wow. I, I would hope within that a way. year she's walking. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, she has a real character instead of just laying in the damn crib the whole episode. It's rude. <laughs> Wait, you don't you don't know my favorite uh, my favorite line of this season? <laughs> What? Remember when Abby took Bunchy to the to the sex shop to get him a dildo? Oh yeah, I remember. And she that. was like, "It's just like real life, only bigger." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that line. The crazy. shot where she's just staring at the fake boobs <laughs> after <laughs> it, after she was you know diagnosed with cancer that made me laugh too. So. Uh, Way to twist it into the negative. She was staring at it. I thought McCall's it was funny, though. McCall's laughing at dildos, and you're just like... No, we're laughing boobs. at your prediction. <laughs> uh, Whatever. All right. Haters. We had a lot of fun this season, guys. You guys were awesome. Thank you for being here and listening each and every week. This has been the After Buzz TV After Show for Ray Donovan Season 4. We are closing it out. We'll see you next season. Until then, we have been Olivia Gabare. Goodbye, everybody. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And Camille direct message her. <laughs> underscore G. <laughs> uh, you guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. You can stalk me during the off season at So McCall Hall when sports and pop culture collide. I am Frank Myron, your lead host. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Let's Go Frank M. I will be hosting the Billions After Show in February of 2017. So be sure to listen in to that. Until then, thank you so much for listening, everybody. Take care out there. Be blessed. We'll see you back next year. From executive producers Maria Manunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of After Buzz TV. Buzz, see you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of After Buzz TV or its owners or principals.